No, this is not clickbait, and this is not smoke and mirrors. This is actually going to be the Radeon RX 480 Polaris running Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, a game that normally requires hardware ray tracing to even launch, on Linux, using software emulated ray tracing using the RAD-V open source Vulkan driver. You can actually run Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, as well as Doom Dark Ages, now on Linux, only on Linux, using RAD-V and software emulated ray tracing on architectures older than Navi 2 that normally don't support hardware ray tracing out of the box. That includes older architectures like Polaris that don't necessarily support double precision floating point 16. Here it is. This particular platform that we'll be testing on today is going to be a Chinese motherboard uh, for LGA 1151 that supports Coffee Lake. So we'll be running an 8700K using DDR3L 16 gigabytes along with an RX 480 8 gigabyte. Stop. Stay out of the light. Hurry. 
There is nothing to fear here. That's what scares me. Adios, Bila. Indiana! America. It's all in America. The man I knew ten years ago. I learned to hate you in the last ten years. Well, where the hell were you? Damn it, don't you leave me down here by myself!
you asked for it. Let go of me! This is a museum! Careful! Indiana? <laughs> I'd wondered where you'd got to. What happened? Where did he go? Who? The giant. I didn't see any giant. I caught someone breaking into the museum. He was tall. He took something. Well, uh, did you see his face? Scarred. Dark skin. He spoke some form of Latin. Latin? Well, that is a novelty. Come on, Marcus. We need to find out what he took. Yes, right here. Well, this display case has been... 